Welcome back. Kenya fully supports previous decisions adopted to address the security issues within and among various member states. In particular, it is important to highlight the significance of the Pact on Security, Stability and Development and the Protocol on Non-Aggression and Mutual Defence. We call upon member states to fully implement the undertakings set out in these instruments as the best means of eliminating all adverse forces in the region. Additionally, Kenya continues to support regional efforts to ensure lasting peace and security within the areas affected by conflict and internal strife. In particular, I commend the efforts to deploy a regional intervention force to deal with armed groups in Eastern DRC, to enable member states own conflict resolution and peace-building efforts in the region. Kenya believes that the ICGLR's regional initiatives require our full support. Kenya therefore pledges its full support to the establishment and work of the Joint Intelligence Fusion Center and urges that the center be strengthened to spearhead expeditious implementation of the protocol on non-aggression and mutual defense. Kenya also welcomes the peace, security and cooperation framework for the Democratic Republic of the Congo and the entire region. We hope that it will, be, it will avail an additional avenue in the search for lasting peace in the region. Kenya, however, advises that this additional framework and its initiatives complement and strengthen rather than complicate and overlap the ICGLR initiatives. I find it important to make this point because we urgently need all hands on deck for effective deployment to avoid wastage of much needed initiatives and resources through duplication. In addition, Kenya desires to join as a signatory to the framework in order to lend diplomatic and political support to its initiatives. Kenya supports the focus on seeking political solutions to security problems in the region and deeply appreciates the efforts made by the heads of state and governments of the ICGLR. I also reiterate Kenya's support for past recommendations in fashioning responses posed by armed adverse forces in the region. In this regard, I reiterate the need to urgently enhance bilateral and regional initiatives and emphasize that collective efforts are the best way to eliminate security threats in the region. As agents of our people's well-being, custodians of our national interest and stewards of popular aspirations, we will work better and be stronger when they forge as a unity of purpose. It is an African habit to seek brotherhood and work in solidarity. Every community of our great continent has a saying that enunciates our own proverb in Kiswahili that states umoja ni nguvu, meaning unity is strength. You will agree with me that the humanitarian consequences of conflict will, over the immediate and long term, require sustained attention of governments, development partners, international and regional organizations, as well as the private sector. Permit me to touch on my government's efforts to combat those adverse forces directed at Kenya or affecting the security of the people of Kenya. We continue to suffer terrorist attacks owing to Kenya's various anti-terrorist initiatives which have been aggravated by our needful intervention in Somalia. Despite the liberation of several areas from Al-Shabaab control, control by AMISOM, Ethiopia, the Somali National Army, Somalia remains fragile. Militants continue to mount attacks against the pacifying forces and civilians. The recent attacks at the UNDP compound and the law courts in Mogadishu are strong indicators of unfinished business. We call on the region to speak with one voice in addressing this threat to guarantee peace and security. 